Greetings to all. In today's section, we will talk about building a LinkedIn strategy in five steps, friends. The first of these steps, sharing content, is the algorithm requests. This subject actually has a few different legs in itself. Let's start with the first sheet, Metal Food. If you prepare your shares on LinkedIn, in accordance with the algorithm, you will be rewarded by LinkedIn. Commercially, if the algorithm doesn't like you, it will create problems for your posts to reach people. In order to prevent this negative situation, there are some points that you should pay attention to. The first of these is to make your post stable and continuous within a certain period of time. How much time this continuity covers is up to you. It could be once a week. It could be every two weeks. It could be two or three times a week. Or it could be every day. More important than the time frame is that you stick to that time frame. Because our goal here is to give LinkedIn the strategy Look, I'm adapting to this consistency and I care about your algorithm. If it is necessary to determine a time period, I think two posts a week will be enough because you also have other occupations. So two shares are ideal. Another important point when creating a sharing strategy is to use emojis because using emoji is also an important part of algorithm management. To do this, to the algorithm, you give the message that, look, my content is entertaining as well as instruction. This situation has started to become important not only in LinkedIn, but also in other social media channels. Another important point in LinkedIn, content management is if your article is relatively long, don't include spaces. Long or short, it doesn't matter. Your articles shouldn't be in the form of paragraphs and leave a space of the line every three or five sentences. The importance of this is you will prove to LinkedIn that your articles are not academic or didactic. Do you have to? If you want your content to reach large audiences, Unfortunately, you have to because no one wants to uh, see such content on social media anymore. Another important point in content production is use of images. A visual about the subject you mention in the content will make your articles more readable and increase your reach. Here is the part you need to pay attention to. Make sure that your images are not on a white background. Because the white background usually doesn't look aesthetic in such content. In addition, high resolution of your image is another critical element. I would like to add one more bonus part to the first article. If you are going to provide a link in your articles, I recommend that the website is, the, is this link is a noun page because LinkedIn is a little sensitive about it. If you don't trust, the, if it does, um, don't trust the website you have included in the link, LinkedIn algorithms can again put your particle in the background. If you have to give this link as a bibliography, I suggest you write this link as a comment because as I just said, alg LinkedIn algorithms don't, don't like uh, and don't trust such sites. Sometimes questions suggest, can't you use LinkedIn to market a blog site you have already written? Do LinkedIn algorithms prevent this as well? I can say the following about this subject. If the place you are writing is your own website with .com extension and your traffic is low, it will probably block it again. Instead, you can write your articles on Medium, medium.com and give its anchor link to people. 
because Medium is already a panel used by thousands of content producers. LinkedIn finds it more reliable. The second one, commenting LinkedIn influencers post. Our second suggestion is to comment on the posts of LinkedIn influencers as much as possible. This has two distinct advantages in itself. First, if you make this comment properly and consistently, and add color to those shares with your comments, over time, you will see that the influencers who post your comments uh, will contact you. It may be that the connects with you and has regular dial dialogues, or you may be someone with whom he changes ideas regularly. The most important element for this is a value proposition that you can give it. The third one, join sectoral LinkedIn groups and be part of a global network. The third important point is to join the sectoral LinkedIn groups and be a part of a global network. The reason for this is these friends, as you join these groups and meet people from different countries, such as Switzerland, Japan, and USA, you will be able to discover very different career opportunities. You can get to know many things with its academic dimension, entrepreneurship dimensions, or consultancy opportunities, thanks to this global network. Of course, the outputs of this global network shouldn't be limited to these only. We already have something to suggest, friends. There is no accounting for investing in yourself. Because if you try to do accounting, it will be difficult for you to evaluate the different possibilities that may come your way. But still, let's try to think of other possibilities. Maybe this will motivate you more. Adding people from different parts of the world to your references is one of them. I put myself in the human resources specialist shoes. It would be very impressive for me if the candidate in front of me had references from different countries. I would ask uh, how he did it or she did it. And when he or she mentioned LinkedIn groups, I thought his or her entrepreneurial site could be important to the company. Soft skills like this always find a buyer in the business world. You can get job opportunities not only in your own country, but also in other countries thanks to these references, especially people in foreign countries with whom you have dialogue and spend time will talk about different business needs over time. And add some number of people as connections every week. Moving on to the next item. Adding a certain number of people each week is another important strategic move. It is not possible to do this for a lifetime. It will be a very time consuming effort and adding people you don't know too much can be repulsive, but you have to do it at first. Already LinkedIn is a social media app that exists for a bit of that. For example, Doing such a thing on Instagram wouldn't look very elegant, but it would be considered normal in LinkedIn. Because, as we said, this is an application made for that. For example, at first, are only your university friends, people at your work or internship, and managers, etc. Suppose you add, so you can reach a limited number of people. So, how do you reach large audiences? Not quite possible. Therefore, we need to increase this number of connections as much as possible. But there is no need to do this in a short time. You should spread it out for some time. Trying to do it in a short time and adding a lot of people can choose the algorithm to look down on you. Remember, looking nice to the algorithm is always one of our goals. Therefore, we need to use the balanced policy used in international relations here. The last one, be one of the first, try, first to try new features in the application, advanced content, audio broadcast, etc. The last item we will talk about in this video is to be one of the first to try 
out the new features. What are these? Such as sound-based broadcast rooms, feature content, preparing abilities. We can explain this is all follows. In technology, the masses are divided into three. One, pioneers. Two, followers. And third one, tools who stay late and come after they become popular. For companies, pioneers, the first audience among the trio, are invaluable. They want to attract them as much as possible. For example, let's consider telephone manufacturers or other electronics manufacturers. When they launch a new product, they send products to, the, to that lead audience, ask them to advertise or make other strategic collaborations. We should do this on LinkedIn too. So what will this give us? At first, it will make our content reach more people. Apart from this, there is a possibility that LinkedIn will see us as a strategic business partner in the updates it will make. Of course, this is a slightly longer term possibility. In addition, I think it is possible that other possibilities will arise in the long run. Once you start doing these five items, you will see that the LinkedIn algorithm starts to like you. This too, it means both popularity and new job opportunities. These job opportunities may be related, related to your department or they, they may be on unrelated and completely different topics. It's all about how open you are the new, new opportunities. After a certain period of time, you will see that you start to get these opportunities. It's over for us and uh, see you in the next videos. You can ask your all questions as comment. And also, if you like our, this video and subscribe to our channel, it will be glad for you, for me. Uh, bye for now.